tried it. Uh, they, they found a way, they scrapped and found a way to get a win. Um, I thought we played a, a solid first half. Uh, we let uh, Chris Milton get a little boost at the beginning of the third. And once he started rolling, they gave him some confidence. And, and you know, a great team like that, <clears throat> when they get confidence, uh, they're hard to slow down. You know, they found uh, something that was working well, pick and roll between Middleton and and Lopez, and they went to it, and that got them going. And uh, it was a good good test for us, uh, especially down the stretch in a one possession game. You know, because we made some mistakes that we probably uh, won't make, hope or that we hopefully won't make if if we're ever fortunate enough to see them again. But uh, Great team. Our guys fought. They fought a little bit longer, and uh, they got the win. Okay. What was your just view of that? What's that? What was your just view of that altercation toward the end? I don't know. I mean, I, it looked like Brook and Trey had words, got a little tangled up, and that was really nothing. No punches were thrown or anything like that. So it's a uh, you know it's a heated contest. And, Emotions are flowing, and you know, the littlest thing can set anybody off. And, and those two got at it a little bit, but like I said, it's it's all in love. Mike, uh, love the best ones, right? I know you haven't seen the uh, or watched the film yet, but if this were like game one of a playoff series, what kind of adjustments would you try to incorporate or make if you were to see a team like this again or have a similar night? But one thing is, you know, we, we have to handle like Chris Middleton and Rook Lopez pick and roll, and we have to do a better job. Of Chris. Like Chris, I just thought it was too comfortable to start the third, and <clears throat> we can't let any of their guys play with comfort. They got to feel us the whole game, and you know, he walked into a three. He uh, got to the rim a couple of times, and it, it was just too easy for him, and with no, with not much resistance. So. Uh, that has to be the biggest adjustment is we got to play this thing for 48 minutes. They got to feel us for 48 minutes. And then, like I said, that, that uh, pick and roll was tough to deal with. Uh, you know, Giannis is Giannis. He's, he's a low. We, <clears throat> we got to keep trying to help out and <clears throat> continue to try to force others to beat us. And, and uh, if we do, for, if somebody else beats you, then, you know, you kind of live with it. Uh, but you, you, you can't have Chris at the point of attack to start the third. Just uh, plays easy and free flowing as he did. And you know, like I said, it took us a little bit of time to adjust to their uh, his and Brooks pick and roll game. And once we did, we started flowing again. And then we made a couple of mistakes down the stretch too. We uh, HB and, and, and Foxy were involved in pick and rolls, and and our switches weren't good. And when they weren't good, every time we Paid the pipe before. You know, Chris hit a three. Uh, one time, uh, uh, Drew Holiday slipped to the rim, and Kevin had to go in and tag, and, and uh, I think it was Grayson Allen hit a three, you know, so. Uh, <clears throat> so there, there's some things we can clean up that we, where we know we can be better, but, you know, Mike Boonholzer does a heck of a job with that team. You know, you got to give him and his staff a lot of credit and, and, uh, and their players. Chris. Mike, when, when Giannis is, is going like that, I know he's super difficult to guard on a multiple time MVP, but what as a coach, like what can you do schematically to, to try to slow him down and, and prevent him from getting downhill like he did tonight? Well, I, I, I thought early in the game we took the hit, but I thought in the second half we moved out of the way a couple of times when we could have taken the hit. <clears throat> so it, 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 if, if you're going to play against those guys, you gonna to have to sacrifice your body, and you gonna to have to get ran over. And it might not just be one time; it might be a couple of two, three times during the course of the ball game. If you don't, you ain't gonna beat them dudes because Giannis is too long, too quick, <coughs> excuse me, too powerful, too athletic. Get downhill. So that has to be the first part. The second one is you know you can run guy, you can run a second guy at him. You know, from time to time, we didn't think that we needed to, you know. Uh, but I do think, and it'd be interesting to go back and, and see it, but uh, I do think in the second half, 
we possibly had a couple of times where we could have taken a hit, but we didn't. Yeah, Coach, outside of that willingness to take a hit, did anything else stand out to you that you, <coughs> you were doing well in that in that first half defensively that kept them off the line and allowed you guys to get turnovers and out on the other end? Yeah, I, I thought defensively our, our, our aggressiveness, especially on the ball, uh, our ability to shrink on the weak side and still get out the shooters, all that was there, you know. And, uh, and you know, you like to see what you like to see that. And it just has to, we have to have some carryover, and we didn't have much of that carryover in the second. We had it in spurts, you know. And um, but again, if they're scoring like that, we're not having a chance to get out and hurt them in transition as if they're you know missing shots like they did in the first half. Mike, is there is there anything from your perspective, um, I don't know, good or, or anything you can glean about seeing your, your team like stand up for itself in a, a situation like what happened tonight at the end of that game? The, things are only going to get more intense, and, and I imagine that's a that's a quality that, that you want in a, in a playoff team is, is some level of toughness and, and that physicality. Hundred percent. You know, I, I don't know what happened, but so we ain't taking no shit from nobody. Trust me on that. And they all gonna have each other's back in there. That don't mean we gonna go out there and start something. We're not, but we are gonna stand up for ourselves and each other. Mike, just the intensity of that game. How good is it for your team to feel that, and so they know what's coming, and as we get closer to the playoffs? Oh, it's great because you know that's, that's a championship caliber staff, a championship caliber uh, team. <clears throat> a lot of those players won at a high level for many years. They're veteran guys. Nucleus has played together for a lot of years, and so they know what it takes to hit somebody in the mouth, not just for five minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes, but to, to keep at it for close to 48 minutes. And matching that or exceeding their level of intensity is a challenge for us. And uh, it was good for us to go through that and experience it and not back down. Coach, we did lose by fewer points than we did last time, so that's an improvement. Are there any positives that you can take away? What are the things that you like that the players were doing tonight? No, there's, there's a lot of positives, you know, and, and it, <clears throat> it's obviously there's no quote-unquote moral victories, but our guys played hard. They tried to do the right thing throughout most of the game. They tried to share the ball. We asked them, we told them we got to shoot a lot of threes. I think we got up 50 threes, you know. Um, I, I thought we did. But it, I mean, you know, we gave up a couple of offensive rebounds on free throw situations, which we got to clean up. But a team that size, you know, five offensive rebounds now, they shot a high percentage from the field, so there wasn't a ton. But for them to, you know, get five offensive rebounds throughout the course of the game, knowing that two of them came off of free throw situations, that's not bad. So, I mean, we, we, we nah, I don't want to sit here and sound like it's gloom and doom because it's not. There were positives out there, but at the end of the day, we lost. We didn't execute down the stretch. We didn't um, um, make uh, Chris Middleton feel us at the beginning of the second half, and it caused that snowball effect. So, I, you know, like I said, uh, we can build off of this. And we're not going to win every game down the stretch. You hope you can learn from the games you win and lose, and hopefully we'll learn from this, knowing that we can't take nothing for granted, especially when you, they have great players throughout their lineup. Hey coach, uh, in the early first quarter, you, you call a quick, quick time bomb after Giannis got his first bucket. Uh, what do you talk to the players? Is it about the defense things? Yeah, it was a defensive breakdown we had. Uh, Giannis drove the ball. We didn't have our help come from the weak side to take a charge. And so I wanted to remind our guys that we got to be there for one another, especially when he's dribbling downhill. We got to make sure that paint's crowded. We come over, we take the hit. And we'll protect our teammates, and we didn't do it. So I just had to let them know that we got to do it if we don't have a chance to win. We took a couple of hits after that, but we didn't, we didn't get back to it in the second half. Right. Hey, Coach, there were a couple of plays late in that fourth quarter that you ISOed HB around the nail on Chris and then went four out outside of him. What was the thought process with that play? Uh, we, we felt like, you know, HB, being an experienced veteran, had an opportunity, we felt, to go one on one and score against Chris because. Uh, the way Kevin was shooting the ball, we didn't think they'd help, but uh, they did help one time, and, and, and Kevin came off with a handoff and got a great look. I think he ended up missing the shot. So, uh, and then another time, HP scored. Uh, I, I don't know what, you know, he ended up 
on right and kind of flipping it out. I'm not sure what happened the third time. You know, I can't remember quite what happened the third time, but uh, again, we just thought that uh, that would generate some looks for us. And uh, I know two of the three possessions that we did it, it generated great looks for us. All right, thank you. Thank you, guys.